Hello, um, uh, my name is Celeste Kidd and I'm a professor in psychology at UC Berkeley. Uh, I study human beliefs uh, and I'm especially interested in why people sometimes believe stuff that is not right. Um, today, uh, I wanna talk about uh, a paper I wrote uh, with one of my colleagues, uh, Abiba Bahrain, um, uh, one, one forward so you can see her, there she is. Um, uh, and um, it is about uh, generative AI uh, and how it can uh, distort, distort human beliefs. Um, uh, to explain this paper, um, I wanna start by first um, explaining a little bit about human psychology. Um, uh, next slide. The thing you need to know about the world is that there's far more information in it uh, than we could possibly hope to explore uh, given our limited time and cognitive resources. Um, so, uh, uh, we have evolved specific attentional mechanisms that help us select just a very, very small subset um, of all of their information, uh, of all of, of, among all of the information in order to form our beliefs. Um, uh, we first seek uncertainty, um, uh, then we use that feedback to determine uh, our certainty, and then we disengage when certain. So it's this cycle that um, governs our uh, exploration in the world. Um, Generative AI has been held up as a way to uh, uh, quickly access a small digestible uh, subset of the information very quickly. Um, uh, yet, uh, generative AI models contain known racial, gender, class, stereotypes, and biases, which then downstream into the model outputs. Um, Next slide represents just some of the people that have done work in this area. It's a big, it's a big area and I encourage you to check all of their work out. Um, uh, further, there's an additional problem, which is that these models regularly fabricate information. Uh, uh, right. Um, developers have acknowledged the biases in these models, but suggested that the right solution is that we need people to uh, uh, use the models in order to uh, uncover the biases, discover the fabrications, uh, and then that's how we're going to uh, uh, correct it. Um, that seems like a reasonable approach on the surface, but it ignores this very fundamental aspect um, of human psychology, which is that once people have encountered that information, uh, especially when uh, they're asking it for information, they're not able to detect um, uh, fabrications, uh, it's hard to correct those, those um, misinformed beliefs that they may form after the fact. Um, there are three tenets of human psychology that I think explain uh, how generative AI risks distorting human beliefs. So uh, I want to go through those now. Um, the first is that people form stronger, longer lasting beliefs um, from agents that they judge to be confident. Uh, model outputs uh, tend to take the form of short confidence statements, uh, regardless of whether or not uh, the statements are correct. Uh, this is precisely the type of input that you'd be worried about could lead somebody to unjustified certainty. Although humans sometimes communicate false or biased information, um, the rate of human errors is an inappropriate baseline just because uh, the interactions between people and people and the interactions between people and generative AI uh, are so different from one another. Uh, people have very, very rich systems of uh, communicating their uncertainty through their words, through their response patterns. Uh, they can use gestures. Uh, there's information in response delays. Uh, there's also speech disfluencies like uh and um that indicate to somebody that is getting information from another person that they have uncertainty. Those signals are there, um, even if the person is trying to deceive them, even if they are lying, uh, they're, they're, they're still indicators of uncertainty. Um, by contrast, generative models uh, unilaterally give very uh, confident um, declarative responses uh, with no uncertainty representations, nor even the ability to um, uh, communicate the, the, the absence of uh, the uncertainty signals. Uh, this is the kind of material that you'd worry could um, uh, lead to unjustified certainty. Okay, second, um, more exposures means a stronger belief, even when the false statement contradicts the person's prior knowledge. Um, this is an issue as uh, uh, these same models uh, replace things like search and are adopted as the back end of ed tech uh, by large numbers of people. Um, 
third thing and final thing, uh, the window in which people are open to changing their minds is transient. Uh, people are requesting information from these models at a very particular moment, uh, which is when they uh, have a question, it's when they're curious, it's when they're open to learning something new. Uh, once the person has received an answer, uh, they are satisfied, their curiosity plummets, that window closes, uh, and it's very hard to get them to change their mind past that point. Uh, we are in the nascent stage of this technology, which offers a transient opportunity to um, study uh, uh, how AI is affecting human uh, beliefs, but this, this opportunity rapidly diminishes as it becomes adopted more widely. Um, uh, High priority should be, uh, yeah, it does like that. two more slides, um, uh, studying how these things affect kids. Um, kids know a lot less about the world and they uh, have a tendency to anthropomorphize uh, AI models more than adults. Um, technologies that offer information to people should be sensitive to human psychology. Um, and if you're interested in this topic, please reach out and talk to me about that. Thanks.